first thing you're going to want to do is go to the website I have linked in the description. Uh, this is where you can download the star map straight from NASA. So it's completely free. You can use it for whatever. So uh, go to the download and then I would download the 16K and also download the 4K. Once you download those, uh, go into back to Blender, go into the shading tab and under the shader editor switch it from object to world. And now that we have that we're going to want to add our environment texture, plug the color into the background, and open our lower resolution star map. The reason why I'm adding the lower resolution is because we're going to be editing the position of it. And it takes a really long time to update if it's at 16K. So it's a lot easier just like while we're kind of previewing it, just to leave it at uh, 4K. Okay, uh, we're going to start making the bottom of the Milky Way. So like. Normally when you look at Milky Way photos, around the horizon there's kind of like a yellow ring. And that's because of the light pollution on the horizon. And uh, just the lights on the horizon in general. So we're going to recreate that in Blender with uh, nodes. So what I'm going to do is add a mix shader. And I'm going to want to add in a, another background node. And instead of plugging an image into it, we're just going to change it to a light yellow color. Now that we have that, we're going to want to add a color ramp node and we're going to want to plug the color into the factor on the mix shader node. Now we're going to want to add a texture coordinate node and plug in the generated into the vector and then plug the generated into the color ramp. We're going to want to add a mapping node and then uh, click control C to copy it and then control V to paste it and then put it on the color ramp. And now that we have that, our node setup is done. And now what I'm gonna wanna do is edit the rotation of the bottom mapping node, because this will mess with the light pollution. And I'm gonna rotate it until it's only along the bottom. And once you have it uh, roughly level, we can start messing with the color ramp. So uh, first, uh, switch um, the interpolation from linear to ease. And then what we can do to actually bring the yellow up a bit more is we can actually drag down the white, and it'll start moving it up. Uh, the nodes for the Milky Way are done. Uh, basically, all you got to do is add in a couple of mountains, add in some trees, and you've got a nice render. And if you want to know how I made the background environment, like the mountains and the trees, I have a tutorial, which I will leave in the end card and uh, at the end screen.